this meeting okay. is being recorded. Now, now we got that. Okay, the recorded. Okay, but my Facebook. I don't see anything on Facebook. What? I know. I know. And I, I'd like to stop it, you know. Oh, stop live stream. What At live? what point is this show labeled a disaster show? I just want to know. It, it's already a disaster. <laughs> okay, good. You just know, wanted to make sure. This is, okay. It's the 4th of July. Out, I'm going to tell it I want to go out yes. over are we, there. It is. Are we streaming on Freebie? Huh? Let me just I have to fill a few things in here now. Um, pop up. Uh, let me see here. Seven dash four dash uh, twenty twenty two. Um, <laughs> let me see here. Let me let me do that. Okay, now we start. We go live. Uh, hello, everybody. I think we're live on Facebook. Okay. Let me let me uh, redo this. Let's see here. Okay, we're going out live on Facebook now. I, I tried something today and it didn't work because this machine doesn't have the power. Hey, Lynn, uh, you got to mute. You're on mute. Uh, yeah, mute you. Right, yeah. yeah, that's good. Uh, no, I'm Thanks, gonna, I'm gonna. I could probably do this over at the uh, new machine because it has enough power and so on. But this machine, I think, when I tried to have it also send a signal out to YouTube, I thought I would try it today since it's, it's the kind of day you can fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, to finish my story, and, and most people who are watching the recording of this don't know the story because, well, anyway, I um, I, I call this guy and say, I want to get at BIOS. And I said, I want to get rid of my phone and then I want you to put on HBO Max because HBO Max be $15. No phone is $25. I'll be saving $10 a month. This guy couldn't figure out how to do it. Go to this page, do this, do that. And then eventually after an hour with this moron, I get disconnected. Oh. So I go back to the chat and this time I got somebody who was, was actually capable. I said, I want two things. I want to get rid of my, uh, my new order. I want to get rid of my phone and I want to get HBO max. And he went, bump, bump, bump. Okay. I just disconnected your phone. Bump, bump, bump. Okay. You've got HBO max. Goodbye. Now all of this on chat. And I don't know if any of you have done chat with somebody like Verizon, but it takes forever because you know they're chatting to 10 other people, right? And they're flipping burgers at McDonald's at the same time. <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> no, they're they're, they're yeah. loading the tandoori oven in India. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so that's that's the that's the problem that you got. So anyway, uh, uh, every time you're waiting for an answer, it takes five minutes. And finally, I just said, my life's too short for this. You know, and the first guy was saying, this is fraud because they told me I was going to get HBO Max. That's why I took it. Anyway, you know what the easiest thing to do was? They what, get, watching TV? Well, I subscribed to the <laughs> Disney Plus bundle. And they gave me, as part of this promotion, a year of the Disney Plus bundle. <laughs> And then I could renew it at $13.99, which is $5 cheaper, $6 cheaper than if I do it over at Disney. So I went, fine. But now how do I get it? I push a button that says I want Disney, the Disney Plus promotion. They say you're eligible for it. Then I say, then they, uh, they ask, uh, what's your email address? I gave my email address. And immediately Disney says, you already have an account with us. Uh, do you want to do this? And I went, yes. And they went, okay. And then they sent me a notification that in a year when I no longer have it, or if I discontinue files, it'll simply go, they pause my account. It will revert to the old account. Perfect. So that was the most wonderful technological thing I've done in, a, in months. Okay. I mean, Disney just made it really easy. Just, okay, you're now with them. You're not with us. We'll put your account on pause. When it's over with, it'll come back and start charging you from, from our account. I never lose the account. That's pretty good. But Fios, try to get a hold of them by phone. I did. I got somebody on the phone eventually, and it went on forever. 
you know, it went on forever. But you just can't get a hold of a human being. And I think for, I pay $265 a month for all my cable services. I think maybe I should be able to get a hold of somebody who's a human being. They don't, they don't want to talk to you. They don't want to have anything to do with you. Shecky and I were talking about this, what, yesterday? Saturday. Saturday. And, and basically, you said what I've been saying. They don't care anymore. They really don't care. As long as they get your money, they don't care. And they don't want to spend the extra bucks, right, to yeah. put real human beings in there. It's amazing. And they're getting $265 a month out of me. What am I going to cost them in a human being? You know, who probably could have taken care of that in five minutes. So it, it's really ridiculous. It's, it's because we lie about being capitalists. Mm -hmm. It's a corporatist country. Yeah. If it was real capitalism where people could get in the market and compete, they yeah. would have to perform. But because there's no reason to compete, there's no reason to be better. You're going to get the money no matter how you treat somebody because nobody else has been able to pay off people to own. In my neighborhood, since 1973, yeah. the same cable company has owned the, the wires and the leases to the telephone poles. We, we, I can get cable or I can get AT&T internet. And we, we proposed going with a, a municipal internet. There's a, a Fairlawn, Ohio. It's down near Akron. Yeah. Every citizen who lives there gets 300 up and down speed for $30 a month, direct fiber to their house, and it makes money. We tried to do it in our neighborhood, and the cable company, AT&T, and DirecTV oh. got together, paid off politicians, and now in the state of Ohio, municipal internet is illegal. Well, you know what happens here in New York? Wow. We only had one cable system. Well, actually, technically, we had two because we had a downtown cable system and an uptown cable system. Mm -hmm. Still, for all those people, it was just one cable system. Don't Why? don't let don't let any of these these bastards in the government convince you that we're a capitalist country. Yeah, well, if we were if we were capitalists, we would allow people to compete. Well, what happened was they did FiOS finally. A Verizon came in with their 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 uh, what do you call their fiber, mm -hmm. and said mm -hmm. we want a license from the city, and they gave it to them. So now there are two systems. I mean, I I can call up Verizon if I can get a human being. And say, you know, screw you! I'm going over to Spectrum. Yeah, it's no, that's not competition. That's an oligarchy. <laughs> it's an oligarchy. Well, you know, <laughs> um, uh, and what I've been looking into, and but I just don't know. Marjorie will be happy with it. Is cutting the cord completely? We did. Yeah. You did, and how's it working it for you? Works great. I've got an antenna on my house that gets 46 local channels, and mm -hmm. I use an Amazon, or uh, was it Recast? For DVR, it's I paid once. I don't have to pay, and then I only stream uh, what I want to pay for. What's recast? So What's recast? recast? It's a it's a DVR for an antenna that that will allow you to to record anything that you want off of the satellite off of the the regular. See, house what antenna. I'm thinking of doing is keeping my really fast internet. Yeah, that's all I have is fast internet. You know, everything else, uh, gig the, up the, and gig, gig down, but. I was thinking of getting like, you know, they have, uh, I, I happen to like Hulu. Hulu has Hulu Plus. Mm -hmm. and they give you uh, any uh, large amount of channels. They also give you the Disney bundle for free. Yeah. Uh, and um, they will, uh, uh, they have a, a kind of a, you know, DVR function where your programs go up to the cloud and you can play them back. Okay. So you got all the DVR functions. The difference is you got to go to an app and then open it up and then go to the station you want. And I don't know if Marjorie's going to be happy with that because uh, she's kind of getting to be a grouchy old lady. No, I so said I would try it out. You would try it out. It cost us about 75 bucks for the month to try it out and see if you like it. If you, yeah, if you, if you feel you can live with it then I see no reason why I shouldn't call up Fios and tell them to go shove it up their collective corporate asses because I'm sick of this kind of treatment. But like Sling, Sling works better than Fios, by the way. Well, if you want, if you want the same, same stuff at a similar price. Wait a minute. Do you mean as Hulu? No, Sling. A sling, but you were saying it's better than Hulu. 
No, Sling is better than Fios. You can get all the channels that are on Fios. Oh, oh, yeah, but what you get is you get all these channels, plus you get the local stations. Yeah, you could do that, too. You get the local stations. So. I don't get the locals because I got it on my antenna. I went from yeah. 200 and something bucks. I pay about $65, $70 a month for all my, all you my know, stuff. You know who looks exhausted today? Mandy looks exhausted. Oh, yeah. Were you partying last night, Mandy? <laughs> No, I've just I just got back from um, South Georgia. I went to Oki and Oki Swamp this weekend. South Georgia. Now you drove there, I would imagine. Hotter than the face of the sun. I really? Mean, <laughs> yeah. No, I went to the Oki and Oki Swamp. And, and so you're back early because yeah. you want to beat the rush, right? Yeah, I mean we we went like Saturday morning, so me and my friend, and so we just came home. And I, okay. I may go try to go see fireworks, but I don't know. Yeah, but so you you put it in uh, in what in your uh, you you put it you did with excuse me I'm punching myself <laughs> I, you you did it you drove your car right yeah we drove and it was it's about four and a half five hours we made yeah. it a little, a little over four today how was the tra- how was the traffic it wasn't bad today um, going down on Saturday morning it was kind of heavy. Yeah, um, and I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a place called Bucky's. Bucky's is the gas station. Oh, I love Bucky's. Yeah, we actually stopped um, there, and when we walked in, I mean, first of all, when we pulled in the parking lot, we couldn't believe because we couldn't really tell when we first got there how crowded it was. But I have never been somewhere with that many people. In like, it, it was almost like I almost had a panic attack, and I'm not like that. But I was like, I can deal with crowds. But this too many. This too, and I heard yeah, stuff like I, I, I heard Bucky, this one Bucky. kid saying it. This is too many people. I got to get out of here. I mean, people. I've like, only heard about Bucky's in say the last week because we live here in New York. You know, fuck mm-hmm. Bucky's. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. it's too yokel for us. But yeah, I uh, think it's in it's in Texas. I mean, I think yeah, it's, it's all around Texas. Texas. Yeah. yeah, but it's it's fairly new, right? Because I never remembered Bucky's when I had a car. That's I never heard of it until like two or three years ago. Yeah, okay. and I think social media has really pushed it to be this popular place you need to stop, you know, because literally when we were, I mean, I just need to use the restroom, and they have a very good restroom, so mm-hmm. it's a lot, and they're very clean, and there was people taking selfies, you know, whole family holding up their phone to take a picture, it's just become a thing, and I mean, I see it all the time. Now, do they serve food at Bucky's? Yeah. Oh, yeah, barbecue, okay. and you walk in, and you smell this barbecue, and everything. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Let's say you have an electric car. That'd be perfect. Because they have electric outlets there, I understand. You can... I think... I know they have, like, 75 gas pumps. I mean, yeah, they got a whole <laughs> slew of gas pumps. Yeah, yeah but I, I'm sure I'm sure they have a whole slew of electric as well. And if you've got That's electric and it's going to take you 30 minutes to, you know, juice yourself up, yeah. hey, go and have mm-hmm. lunch at Bucky's. But gas yeah. was only three seventy nine. What? It, it, yeah. I know. We were like, well, what? like we what? had to wait. We had to like wait just a few minutes to get into a spot. No wonder Bucky's was so filled with people. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got it today in Valdosta for four oh four, so it wasn't too bad. How about how about you, Charlie? You say down there, it's it's what? Oh, that, it's about four twenty a gallon now here. But how about at Bucky's? How about at Bucky's? <laughs> recently not not for about six months yeah yeah we're very close to seven dollars here so oh, wow. you're and you're you're in uh in california yeah, they, yeah listen alex i'm going to go listen to music i just wanted to stop in and say happy fourth everybody i'm at a winery and oh look show, the, wi- so show the winery Hi. show the winery oh wow yeah, look at, yeah beautiful huh which, <laughs> which 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 winery is that this is this is three Steve's, um, just a small winery. They got music playing. They got, uh, you know, it's uh, it's really nice. So awesome! I well, you make us stop in make and us, say, you make us feel like we're we're spending our lives with the uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, with the Fourth of July. 
I, I feel bad not stopping in and seeing you on Mondays. It's, uh, it feels weird not to say hi. Well, it's good to see you there. <laughs> and yeah, uh, thank you. You know, last time we saw Lynn somewhere else, she, he was with Mandy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Where are you, Mandy? Are you going to be here in five or ten minutes? Is that <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> God, you know something? Uh, I'm, looking, I'm looking at you in that vineyard and just at this moment really missing California. Yeah. You know, I mean, look at how brown the hills are, though. I mean, it's it's really, it looks like the moon out here. That's really? Mount Diablo, mm -hmm. Mount Diablo mm -hmm. over there in the far, as far out as you can see. Were there a lot of uh, fires in that area? Um, not not recently, no. We've been pretty good so far, but it's early. Yeah. By, by yeah. August or September, though, everything will be on fire. Hey, well, listen, have a good time <laughs> listening to music. Thank, thank you, sir. Get yourself some good you guys, barbecue and whatever. That's right. Okay. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. We'll talk next week. Okay. Bye, Lynn. Love, Thanks Lynn. for calling. Bye. Bye. Shecky, what are you doing for uh, the 4th of July? I'm just sitting here reading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Just what else am I supposed to do? I'm like to blow my hand off, shooting fireworks off. Yeah, right. Right. I don't know if you saw that. Like, someone like Fort Lauderdale, some guy blew his hand off. Oh, gosh. Uh, well, there's, I mean, I never liked firecrackers when I was a kid. Because you got to light them and then throw them real fast. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, as that fuse starts going, you groom, you throw the damn thing. But I just found it that it made me nervous, you know. And why do I want to do something that makes me nervous? Yes, the, Jeff. The craziest <laughs> thing I ever did is I think I was 13 years old. Yeah. And I was with my parents, I think. And um, we, were, we were in California at the time. Yeah. And we decided to go to Mexico and, and go visit you know, a couple of hours in Mexico. So I'm walking around and I find out I can buy fireworks there. Wow. So I go and buy her, I don't know, whatever it was, five bucks or ten bucks worth of stuff. Yeah. And I'm hiding it so that nobody in the family knows what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. We go home on the airplane. <laughs> and I still got it on my hand. Could you imagine what you do today? Why? I'd be arrested. You'd be arrested. Be locked up. Yeah. Of course. I'll, I'll tell you what happened when I was a kid. Uh, we had some fireworks and we were, you know, kids, uh, it's 4th of July and it's uh, that time of the year. And you start, you just, you know, you light a few firecrackers and start throwing them. Uh, and I was in Marin County. I'm surprised it wasn't that, uh, that uh, crisp with the wood and stuff out there. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm just absolutely, I took a big pill last night. And today I'm like, I don't have command of the English language. Uh, it was like Tinder out there, but uh, to, but we, we didn't catch anything on fire. We're throwing these things. And I think somebody had like a, a cherry bomb. You remember the cherry bomb? Sure. Oh. Throw those. They're louder than the regular firecracker. And those are the ones that can kind of blow off your hand. So yeah. Sure. So my friends are throwing those and doing them and throwing them and pop, 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 pop. We get a call from the neighbor up the hill. Now, mind you, this is the 50s, okay? And the call I get is, could you please stop using the firecrackers? And I said, why? And she said, because my husband is under the bed right now. <laughs> he yeah. he got shell-shocked from World War no II. Kidding. He was a... Um, he was a photographer in, in the Corps and photographed the war, but, you know, he heard a lot of bombs, and he was shell-shocked. And that uh, that scared the hell out of me. He was under the bed. So well, I, I've, never understood, I've never understood, the, the you know, what people like about firecrackers. They just make noise and are annoying. Yeah. They're not pretty or anything. Well, what we have here, although this year it's a little quieter than last year, but last year, remember, remember everywhere in the country, there were these fireworks. Everybody had these fireworks going off and you know, big displays and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. 
so bad here. Because they were coming into the country and they were cheap and people bought them. Now they're very expensive and people aren't like buying the big arrays and so on. I don't know. I'm dreading tonight. I live in an apartment and yeah. people last couple of years, people have been, it is, it's like they're having their own little fireworks yeah. show for their neighbors. And yeah. I, I mean, boom. I mean, it shakes the whole building. Well, they did that here, but last night it was, it was not that bad. Was it Marjorie? Tur oh, turn on your mic. Yeah, it was loud last night. That's why we put the AC on. Was it loud? I didn't hear it that much. Loud. Yeah, a lot of pop, 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 pops. Yeah, but um, but nobody, you know, nobody is considerate enough to think that maybe there's some people who are trying to get to sleep at midnight. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's, I get it. You want to do it till ten or eleven, but after that, stop. You want to go to Not to mention those of us with dogs that go crazy with yeah. noise. Yeah, yeah, it's just cruel. Yeah, and and they're very. I think I consider it very inconsiderate. However, up in Canada, people aren't inconsiderate, so there are no fireworks going off, right? Uh, well, there's no Fourth of July. There, there, there were on July first on Canada Day. We had uh, we had the fireworks going on. But I have a question: like when the when the Fourth of July falls on a Monday, does that just screw over the entire American workforce because everybody just doesn't give a damn, or like like everybody's yeah. off? Yeah. You, well, yeah, but I'm worried about tomorrow more than anything. I'm worried about tomorrow. Like everybody's going to be showing up at work. Shell shocked is a good word for it. <laughs> well, actually, Marjorie has a friend who has worked somewhere, obviously, and she gets Fourth of July off, but they also take the fifth off as well. And I think maybe that's a good reason why, because you're having people going out, getting drunk, eating food, getting you know out too much sun, getting baked in the sun. And then uh, you're asking them to come into work on the fifth. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Alex, my, uh, my, like, look at Mandy right now. She doesn't look like she's ready. <laughs> no, I'm not. I mean, I, I went on a boat ride yesterday, and I have to say it was very fun because I mean it was kind of like in a little adventure. We were on the swamp in a little John boat huh. with alligators all around us. I oh mean, God. Oh nice. Oh God. So it was, and it was just 11 o'clock. I mean, I was just getting baked. Did, did I mean, any of those alligators come up to the boat? No, they're they're like just sitting out. You know, you just see their little eyes and their little snout. And then right when you get near them, they just go down in the water. They just, <laughs> but there was a couple. We were making fun because they were like bigger and they just, they didn't give a crap. They're just still sitting at you, looking at you like, very, yeah. you know, much tamer. But most of them just slowly. But go I think they'd them. rather not come in contact with you if they don't. Have oh no, no, they they go under. They're like, mm -mm, you know. But. Yeah, but all it takes is one, right, to come over to the boat and decide to do do some chomping. I I don't know. They they yeah. run from it. There was one in front of us, and I was like scared we were going to hit it, and then it finally just went under, and then we just went right over where he went under. Well, I mean, how many alligators were out there? It's filled. It's filled. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. It's like they were every 10, 15. Well, I mean, are they yards. sitting there while you come with your boat and they think of you as a buffet? No. Mm -hmm. no it's they like one of those Chinese rest, Japanese restaurants. We've got those boats going around the table, you know? Well, one thing, if there's any, there's like people that like to fish and the alligators will hang out right near the fishermen. So um, when we were first going out in the little marina at the state, we were at the state park, I had a map and I accidentally went out of my hand. It flew out of my hand and there had been a gator right by these people who were fishing in the marina. And it, the map went right where this alligator was. And, you know, they were like, go get it, come get it. And I was like, I'm not sticking my hand in that water. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, I mean, they like, they're very lazy predators. They'll hang out near fishermen because, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they're all coming. They just go get it. They, yeah, but I mean, you're, in, you're in their home. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. That's what I mean. I felt like I don't want to just. You know, you. theory, you don't belong there. Right. Exactly. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, oh, look who's here. Brian is coming here. I just saw him there. I'm sorry, Brian, if I took a while. Hey, guys, I hate to say that I got to go, but I got to go. This is my granddaughter for. Hi. Oh, hi. 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 That's a oh, Laura right there. You know she's something? A, she's, a, she's a little superhero. Do we have to go? Mm -hmm. Do we have to go? Yeah. I, you know what? The, I'm sick and tired of these cute kids showing up on my show. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say hi to Alex? Say hi, Alex. Hi. Hi. Hmm. What's your name? 
Alara. Alara, that's right. That's Alara? Name. How old is she? Alara. Alara, how old are you? Four? When's Four. your birthday? April 24th. April 24th. That's right, my love. Yeah. Uh, Brian Brian has a kid probably with him today who is, is five. Six. Yeah, she's six. Six? She's six now? And she's six. Alex, you should have seen the picture he just posted of his child. She is a baddie. I mean, with a serious mood. Like, you need to check it out. Her picture from her dance. Is it on his Facebook page? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Uh, Let me look at this here. It's scary, everybody. She's pulling me away. Peace and love. Okay. And Brian, yeah, that is an awesome picture. Okay, see everybody. Brian. Bye -bye. Oh, well, there's Bye. you. Oh, no, all I see here is pictures of. Uh, let me see here. Brian. Go down in a couple of days. Uh, yeah. Let me go to Brian Neary's site. Here we go. <laughs> a couple of days. A couple of days. A couple of. Oh, wow. You'll see it. Uh, the one where she's <laughs> dancing? Yeah. Yeah, her with her leg up. Wow, is she flexible? She's giving some face, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, but you know what happened? The other day, uh, she did that same thing with the leg, right? Remember, Brian? Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and I I said to her, enjoy it while you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Adrian. Adrian, come here. Mm -hmm. Come here. Say hi to your friend, Alex. Come here. <laughs> Alex, yeah. Say hi. I see you. <laughs> what? Say happy Fourth of July. That's Charlie. You see, <laughs> uh, there's a bug flying around. So, yeah, yeah. How uh, on, the phone, on the phone it only shows one person here. So when I said there's Alex, it was Charlie's picture on there. <laughs> Alex got a tan over Fourth of July weekend. Yeah, uh, 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 Brian, uh, uh, where are you? Oh, uh, we're in LA. So we did. Uh, we did California Adventure and Disneyland, and then today we're with her family down here. Her family puts on like a big Fourth of July uh, nice. picnic party thing at the park every year. So, yeah, so we're here. Was Disneyland fun? And it, yeah, Disneyland was fun. Thank God we only go once every few years. Did, did, the, ki <laughs> did the kids enjoy it? Did Adrian enjoy it? I'm sure. Yeah, she did. yeah, yeah. She enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. 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 Uh, that must have been expensive to get them all in, though. How much? <laughs> how much did it cost for the? There's you. There's your wife. Yeah. There, so we do it. Two there's days you, past. and there's your 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 not wife, but what is the term we use? Uh, <laughs> uh, closest Beyonce. friend. What? Beyonce. Fiance. Beyonce. Oh, that's good. Are you engaged? <laughs> yeah. A uh, fiance. You've got then. You got three kids. That's five people. You got to pay to get yeah. to Disneyland. How much? So, did that so yeah, so Disneyland and then California Adventure the day before. So it was like a two day pass for two days was two hundred two hundred dollars each for yeah. each person. Yeah, it's like two something. Yeah, for each person. So we pay. get to go to both parks and then yeah, then you get there and we do the genie. So the genie plus is like you get to go on the rides with no lines and then you have the photographers there and all stuff. So you pay for that stuff. And then there's a couple of special rides that you want to ride on, and those aren't included. So those are another twenty dollars for those rides. So, so yeah, how much? That, how much you figured total you paid? About twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars. Oh, there. just for here? Yeah, just for the park stuff. But then we stayed at the hotel, so that was another twelve hundred, I think. Oh God, you really—that's an expensive weekend you had. Yeah, going. but but you know how much money I saved on vacations during COVID? <laughs> I saved a lot of money. <laughs> now, how much? How much did you? How much did you pay for gas? Oh, Zero. You, oh, you yeah. use a Tesla. You have a Tesla. We took the Tesla. We left San Jose and we ended up at Kettleman. It's uh, like this Bravo farm thing. It's like a, it's a, it's an area that we always stop in. You know, it's like mm -hmm. halfway and it has all the food places and everything. And we stopped there, mm -hmm. thirty minute charge, and then we we went all the way down to Anaheim. And then right when we got here, we were really low, so we stopped and and uh, now, charged up. You so own, like, yeah, you but, own a, you own a Tesla. So Tesla Y, yeah. Yeah, so te Tesla, yeah, they have an S and an E and X and a Y. You have the Y, which is, I think, yeah. the cheapest one, right? Uh, it's not the cheapest one. No, no, the the other model is the three, I think it is. The three was like 35000 This one was like 60000 But it's, okay. a, it's the SUV. It's the big one. So, okay. So it's nice. What happens is there are charging stations all along the way that are run by Tesla, right? Yes. And yeah, so you, you get to use those for free. 
Yeah. I uh, actually they do they they have like a one year thing or they have something you can buy but we I think she paid I don't know how much she paid for the charge. It's really cheap though. Yeah. 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 Was oh, that Adrian? Yeah. Yeah. And we have a we have a cute doggy over here too. It's not our dog. Mm. Really? Oh. Uh, so now you've done all the cute things you can do on this show. A, a kid, your kid, and the dog. Yeah. yeah. You dog friendly? You dog friendly? Well, yeah, I, he, the dog has got little socks on, so that's even more cuter. Has little socks on. Yeah, oh, yeah, socks on. Well, and here's here's uh, Jeff's kid. Ah, my daughter. Hello, daughter. Hello, um, everybody. Yeah, most of the most of the time when we have daughters on this show, uh, they're uh, they're they're like four, four and five years old. So well, yeah. she's about six, I think. Yeah. yeah. She's about six. Uh, uh, yeah. This is a, this feels like a holiday show, you know. Well, it is because you know we're all together with uh, all of my three kids. Yeah. Who are adults, and because of them, yeah, there's four teenagers here. Wow, oh, their kids. Yeah. Okay. I want to apologize, by the way, to our viewers about the, the fact the show may be a little short this week because I just restart recording. I what I tried, I tried to get it on Facebook and YouTube at the same time, and it just didn't work. Okay, so. Well, but How are you, Marjorie? Feeling what? How are you and Marjorie feeling? Um, I'm feeling okay. How are you feeling, Marjorie? A slow heel. I'm still very really? weak. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You bought a new couch. Yeah, but she bought it months ago. You know, you don't get a new couch. You go in to buy a couch, and they don't say, well, "You can you do, we we can, we're going to be around we'll Saturday." We'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, we'll be there tomorrow. It's like, okay, we'll have it for you in six months. <laughs> And so we've been waiting on this couch. How long, Marjorie? About six months. Yeah. Uh, so uh, anyway, we're going to, it's our, we, we got, when we took our security deposit back on this apartment, I just said to Marjorie, here's the security deposit. Go out and buy whatever you feel we need for the house. So she bought a couch and a rug. And I think you yeah. still got money left over. You know? Not really, but yeah. Yeah. But. Now, is this couch the former tenants, or did you bring it up from Houston Street? No, this is the uh, oh, Houston yeah. Street. This is the Houston Street one, but oh, it okay. and it's a great, you know, it's a very expensive uh, couch. But you know, even uh, it's how old do you figure, Marjorie? Over twenty five years. Yeah, so mm. you know, it's getting you sit in it and it starts it's getting ragged. It's got holes in it. You know? Yeah, so it's time to get rid of it. You know, you get a new one. Nice and comfy, and probably better for your back, Marjorie, and things. Probably, yeah. You look a little better today. Oh no, yeah. she is. She is much better. You know. I'm still weak. I mean, yeah. it's still hard to do anything. I'm not particularly weak, but I, you know, it, it, yesterday I took a walk. I had to go to. Uh, I, I bought a new webcam, and it didn't work with the system, so I immediately sent it back, and I had to walk down to. Whole Foods, uh, round trip, it's a mile, you know. Oh, who is this? Hi. Oh. Hi. I'm Molly. Hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. And how are Hi, you Molly. related? How are you related to Mr. Stein? He's my grandpa. Oh, oh boy. Hey. Yep. And who is that one? Who's that? Who's that? I'm another grandkid. I'm <laughs> Sam. <laughs> They're all here. Yeah. 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 They're my kids. <laughs> they, they all came, they all came to visit, huh? Yeah, we're uh, in Cape Cod. Oh, you're in Cape. Oh, that's Cod. right. You were, yeah. yeah. Right. And so the whole family is there. Yeah. We're in Chatham. So how many grandchildren do you have? Two. No, four. Four. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. And and the daughter you just showed us earlier are these the children of that daughter or? Yes. Okay. Yep. He, she, and, you know. And there's another two somewhere around today. How, how old are these? They're in the pool. How old are uh, these? How old are these grandchildren? They're all teenagers. Yeah. So nineteen. I'm here's 14. the youngest. Yeah. 
Okay. We've got a 16 also. I'm yeah. 17. And then we got a 19 as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. All from the same parents or uh, uh, different no. parents? So they are grandchildren. What? Let's see. What? I guess be be your. What is the real? What is your grand? What is a one of his other grandchildren to you? He's uh, that would be a. Well, they're all my grandkids. That's, they're your grandkids, okay. but then what are the other grandkids to them? What's they're first cousins? They're cousins. 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 First cousins. cousins. Yeah. Yeah. They're cousins. Oh, here's, oh, here's the other one. Here's the other. Oh. Here we go. We're getting most of the style. Here's my <laughs> old child. This is my son. <laughs> oh, wow. Lower your okay. head there into the frame. There you go. Right there. Yeah. Okay. And are these his kids? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, come here. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to figure out what uh, what uh, uh, you know what the all the relationships are. Yeah, get, get mom. Mom, come here. I'm the favorite. <laughs> uh, Undisputable favorite. All right, she's the best, Greg. Yeah. Uh, okay, so what do you think? Here we oh, wait, go. No, here comes the other favorite. At least she thinks she is. I am. Wait, Molly, you get up. Okay, watch out. Uh, and this is the other daughter. This was yeah. the daughter we saw earlier. Yeah, we saw. I, right. I was introduced already. Yeah. And she's right. the mother of these two children, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. This is All right. uh, Molly. We already. We already oh, and Sam. Sam. And Sam. Isn't that great? Isn't that great, Jeff? You don't. You know, once they're gone, they're gone. <laughs> you, can, you can relish them while they're there, and you can have fun with them, and you can dote on them. And then when they go, you don't have to put up with them anymore. It's not like having kids where you have to put up with them all the time. So it's the little kind of bonus you get later on in life for having all these kids. Yeah. He's not going to fit. Well, <laughs> and, and this is their husband and father. That's oh. Aaron. Oh, hey. Okay. Hey, everybody. We we have them because of him. So <laughs> I'll work together, right, Dad? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> wow. That, that, That's good. Yeah. That's pretty good. And this is Snickers. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Snickers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, how, how's it, Brian, on the cuteness level? How are we doing today on this show? <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Your mic isn't on. Um, there you hold, go. Is that better? Okay, hold on. Yeah. It's so hard on the phone. It's on. Okay, there we go. Night, night. Yeah. So I, I don't have grandkids or anything like that, but <laughs> but this is <laughs> this is so this is our family in LA and they, there's one ringleader that does like all the games with all the kids and tug of war and everything. Oh really? So, yeah. It's like super organized. You know, you, it, this is really feeling like a 4th of July show. Yep. Oh, yeah. You know? Actually, it's a really beautiful park. They have like a river going through here. It's in Anaheim. Yeah. They have some, some house thingy over there. I don't know what that is. They're all vegan meat, so I don't understand anything. But yeah, there they is this the, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this, is this the entire family? Everybody say hi from New York. Say hi, everybody. Mm -hmm. okay. is, is that the entire family? That's her side. Yeah, that's her her, her side. side. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. there's Adrian. Say hi, Adrian. Uh, yeah, Hello. sure. Good. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Adrian. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Can you do something with your leg or something? Do something. Okay, here she goes. No, hold it up there. Why? What? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is my sister. She's limber. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hi. Your younger hi, sister, everybody. obviously. <laughs> hi. Yeah, hi. Wait a minute. Who do we got? Oh, who do we have here now? With that, that's the boy. Say hi, Simon. Ah, hi. The boy. The bad boy. <laughs> the oh, bad boy. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold hi, on. everybody. <laughs> nice seeing you all. Well, who hi. Hi. Happy fourth. Yes, you do. So and where who? do you live in Georgia? What? Mandy lives in Georgia. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Wait a minute. Uh, We're in Georgia. I live in Duluth. 
right outside of Atlanta in Duluth. In where? Duluth. 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 Oh, right. Yeah. Cool. I used to Are work you in uh, Roswell? over in Alpharetta. Huh? Are you in Roswell? No, but I used to work over there a while back. And my mom lives in Sandy Springs. <laughs> okay. Have you lived, lived there all your life, Mandy? Yes. No, I yes. used to live in Maryland oh, most of my life. You. And, and your name is what? What's, her, what's your name? Wendy. That's Wendy. 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 Okay. Oh, Oh, look at bye, that. Bye, everybody. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Look at these, all these kids. This is really, I'm really feeling. Want to get up? Oh, yeah. I'm really feeling 4th of July now. Bye. Guess bye. what, Alex? What? There's, There's two more. more. <laughs> <laughs> two more? Are these oh, grandchildren? I guess they are. Yes. Yeah. All right. You got, a, you got a bunch of great-looking members in your family. Yeah. There's not an so, ugly so one in a bunch, this, except for you, Jeff. <laughs> They all came together. Oh, and here's their mother. Yeah. <laughs> and there's oh, Adrian. Hi. Hi. It's, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I think I got Jeff B. Really? You got them all. You got them all. Look at that. Oh, I don't know why Pam didn't. Wow. Come out, but is it, is that the whole, is that the whole family, uh, Brian? <laughs> Uh, no, we got one. Oh, I got one more. Yeah. So, 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 so Tiffany's here. here. He's on the phone. No, he's on the phone. Yeah, well, here's my kids. Here's Adrian's great grandmother. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, really? Hello, my friends. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Wow. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, Boy, it's everybody, Brian. I know. How old is your grandmother? Um, 90. 90. She, she has you beat, Alex. She's 90. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> she's in great shape. So you, you're still doing good. Oh, see, so they're playing soccer now over here. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, let me see here. Who haven't we talked with? Charlene, how are you? What are you doing? Are you, I'm doing good. We what are you doing? Yesterday. What are you doing? We did our fourth yesterday. We celebrated my mother-in-law's 87th birthday. Wow. wow. We had all the kids over. I could have showed you my kids yesterday. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, today they're all gone. <laughs> they're all gone. Yeah. Um, and uh, Man Mandy, how many kids did you have? I have two. Two? One's, okay. in, one's in College Station, Texas, but I actually think she's in Arizona right now, still on, doing her field work uh -huh. for her doctorate. And the other one is living the charmed, fun, adventurous life at Seaside Beach, Florida. Yeah. While yeah. she just graduated college, she's, you know, having a free summer before she has to start being an adult. Why? But good for her. They all turned out okay. They did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And were they with you when you were with the alligators? No. Oh, no, no. I just went with my friend. Yeah. Because, you know, if you're not happy with any of them, you just feed them to the alligators. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shecky, show us your family. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. We just lost him. Yeah, where'd he go? Oh, there he yeah, is. It's back again. Well, you know, um, uh, yeah. Shecky is like, well, he, Shecky's done me one better. I mean, neither Marjorie or I have ever had any kids. Uh, and it's not because she couldn't have kids, and it's not because I couldn't have kids. We just, it was a choice, I guess, we made all our lives. And uh, that was pretty much a choice on your part, right, Marjorie? I mean, why didn't you have any kids? I don't think I've ever asked you this. Well, husband number one didn't want them. Mm-hmm. Husband number two had four kids and had a vasectomy. <laughs> so that took care of that. And your husband number three. And and I had a prostate operation. <laughs> so uh, you know, I'm I'm pretty much shooting blanks by this time. Oh my gosh. You know. Jeff no. has another friend. Who's Jeff? Oh wow. Jeff. Oh Jeff. Now who is this? Hi, Alex. It's Andrew. We had lunch many years ago. <laughs> yes, yes, I remember you, Andrew. 
I remember. Good to see you. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> that was the first time I ever met Jeff personally. That's right. She came down here. We went to a restaurant here in Harlem, and uh, boy, you got a lot of family going. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, they all showed up. He has a, <laughs> many progeny. <laughs> many, many progeny. Wow. My brother, my brother's old enough to be my father. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Um, who else is here that I haven't talked to yet? Uh, I've talked to everybody. I don't want to leave anybody out. You know, Edward. But, but boy, yeah. that's, that's a lot of family there, Jeff. Are they all staying at the same place up there? Place in uh, the Cape Cod. Yeah. And it's a rented. beautiful house. So you, you rented We're like the Kennedys. <laughs> oh. So what do you do, rent it for the week or something like that? For the week, yeah. And lots of money. <laughs> yeah, but it's a big place. You can it looks it's like a, it's two it's two buildings. And how about Brian? Brian, all the rest of that family, you're not paying for them, are you? Paying what? Paying Mama. <laughs> <laughs> we have all Vietnamese food and fruit. Oh God, that looks good. Wow. We flip up from US. Yeah. Yeah. US Vietnamese food. <laughs> so, How is, is there Vietnamese cuisine in there? Oh, yeah. 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 They got the rolls here with beef inside, the rice paper with the leaf. And then, uh, wow, yeah, there's, bread ribs, there's more salad. Uh, oh, yeah. This uh, dessert. So it's like a jello, but it has coconut inside. I, I'm sure you've had your fill in your lifetime of uh, of uh, what do you call it of uh, Vietnamese food. Oh yeah, uh, but is is Vietnamese food? How does it stack up to other cuisines? I like a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, you you never grew up, but you know this for them. This is comfort food. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You yeah, know, yeah. for you, comfort food might be something like, you know, barbecued ribs or, you know, uh, whatever we can't afford to make anymore on uh, on 4th of July. Right. The rack of ribs now, I, I go to the store, just the rack of ribs like this, right? 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Uh, I was going to make them today, but I forgot to go down and get them. So, you know, here we are. Uh, uh, so what do you what 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 are you going to do for the rest of your Fourth of July, Andrew? Me, I'm heading over to a buddy's house to eat his food. Yeah, I've been been tearing into my Reno house all day, and I'm tired and yeah, I'm How, itching from insulation and yeah. How about you, Charlie? Is there anything you're going to do special, or are you just nah, uh, just uh, watching movies? Yeah, eat barbecue. Okay, and. Uh, 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 how in traveling, you said, Mandy, that your traveling down was harsh. Yeah, it was, just, it was kind of heavy on Saturday morning, but I mean, just around Atlanta. Then but, once we broke com out, coming back was okay. Yeah, it was, it was light. Yeah. Light, light enough. It was fine. Made it in a yeah. little. How, how much it was in the gas? Yeah, how much did you spend on gas total, do you figure? Probably filled up twice, maybe less than a hundred dollars. I mean. Really? Oh, that's good. Phillips. Uh, you know, imagine me saying that's good. The last time I ever owned a car, I was paying like two twenty-five a gallon in California. You know, I remember when I was a kid paying. You ready for this? Eighteen cents a gallon or eight cents a gallon. They were having a price war. Eight cents a gallon. <laughs> you know, uh, how uh, how did you did you drive up, Jeff? How did you get up? Yeah, yeah, you drove. Yeah, we drove. Everybody How much, drove. What do you figure the gas cost you? Probably. We think it is about six or seven dollars. Six bucks. No, uh, it was it was five. It was five. Five a gallon. Yeah. Yeah, and do you do you have gas effective cars? I mean. Yes. Yeah. Although yeah. I have a hybrid. You have a you have a hybrid CRV. Yeah. And how what kind of what kind of mileage does that get? About forty five. Oh, that's good. But, what, but we were really loaded up, mm -hmm. so it's probably a little less. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, it is good. You know, today, if I got a car, be either a hybrid or an electric, and it would probably be an electric. Yeah. You know, I, I 
spend the farm on uh, on, a, on an electric car. Yeah, but, but you'd wait. You'd wait longer than it's going to take the couch to arrive to get the. Electric I, car. I know it takes, it takes about, it takes about six, the, the Tesla's a six month back order, from what I understand. Yeah. You know, uh, but I, I, well, I it was very hard to get the car I got. Oh, really? The hybrid. They only had one call. Do you remember when you used to? Do you remember? We're going to run a little over. Do you remember? Because I did. I can do ten extra minutes, and then we'll be an hour uh, because we got going late because of problems. But I mean, uh, when I was a kid, you went to the car dealer, uh, and um, did we lose somebody? Who did we lose? Andrew. Andrew. Okay. Uh, when you went to the car dealer. Uh, you, you, to begin with, there were all these cars in the in the in the in the lot, and all different colors, and all different colors, and all brand new. And they they they'd like come out and start hustling you. Which one would you like? I can get you into this one for right right now for this. You you actually bought a car and drove it off the lot that day. Yeah. What are you talking about? I did that two years ago. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what did you buy? I got my Chevy Malibu, 2020 Malibu. Wow, and they, they actually had it right there. On the lot, yeah. And you drove it out. Yep. Yeah. Because I remember last time I bought a car, which was my Acura, or I leased it. Uh, I was out, out the same day, you know. I said, I want that one. And they said, fine. And they did whatever they little magic they had to do to get it prepped for me. And then they went, you know, so. That's, it's a different world. It is a different world. I mean, uh, and, and I won't even ask you about your car, Shecky, because it's... <laughs> is it 30 years old? <laughs> How old is it, 25? Uh, 1995? Yeah. 27. 27 years. 1995, you said? Yeah. Okay, 19... Yeah. 27. It'll be 27 years. 27 years old. If it's not already. And yeah. tell them now, Shecky, and they're not going to believe this. How much mileage is on the car? 60,000. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't drive anywhere. No kidding. You know what you are? Yeah. You're like, they used to have a thing the about. The little old lady from what? Pasadena. You're the little old lady in Pasadena who <laughs> only drove it on Sundays. You're that, that little old lady from Pasadena. You know? Yeah, and I admit it. You know. Wow. Uh, I. Uh, you know, don't forget my stores can be walked to. You know, Union Turnpike. You've been down there. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it, it it's simple. And. Um, you know, the other day it was Costco and Stu Leonard's. Oh, that was fifteen minutes each way. <laughs> yeah. And when's the last time you filled up the tank with gas? Oh, God. I want to say maybe January. I... <laughs> All I know is I have half a tank. So I let can... me put it this way. <laughs> I got to have a Jackie's tank. car gets better gas mileage than Brian's Tesla. <laughs> he charged up his Tesla just a few hours ago, but Shecky, on the other hand, you know, same gas in the, that tank since uh, since January. You better you better drain that tank. It's going to go stale. I was going to say, I feel like that's not good for it. So it's driving crazy. by the gas station I normally go to on the way to Stu Leonard's, it was like 480 yesterday. Um, when did I go there? All right, that's actually down from what it has been, though. It's down about 16 cents, they say, mm. everywhere. Uh but it, it's still it's still way too high. You know? Yeah, but it's always been that way in Europe. Mm -hmm. By the way, how many people here feel sorry for the people at airports this weekend? Oh, yeah. I'm not sorry for them at all. They should have seen that coming. <laughs> I have to feel they knew it was coming. I don't, well, half of them probably did. I flew home from uh, London last Sunday. Yeah. Oof. That was the worst experience I've ever had. How it was it was chaos. Uh, the bag check line was barely moving. So they did that thing where they started calling flights out of the bag check line. 
but it was total chaos because people were just cutting lines left and right. I went to some random kiosk that wasn't next to the conveyor belt and this woman was just like, leave your bags with me, you're gonna miss your flight. And then she told me to cut all these lines and I did and I still barely made it. And uh, Well, I'm gonna go out to stressful. Hollywood over Labor Day and I've never done this before. I'm gonna do this carry on. Well, I normally do that. Yeah. No, I normally check my bag, but I'm gonna do carry on this time. You know what happened? Mark. We'll check it with carry on now. Find a place in the overhead to put it. Yeah. What they'll do yes. is grab your bag and they'll put it in the in the in the uh, in, in the place with all the other people, but it doesn't matter because you're not paying for it. You're paying. Aren't you paying extra for baggage if you if yes. you uh, even yeah. even jet blue bait? Jet Blue Blue, it's still 30 bucks to check a bag. Where it used to be, that's the comp, you know. This was, uh, you know, boy, isn't vacationing fun? Fun. <laughs> you know, this was, uh, flying through Heathrow was seriously one of the most. And I hear in Amsterdam, ever whatever that airport is called, aren't even selling tickets anymore at the moment because it's so crowded wow. flying through Amsterdam. Wow, is there? I guess the only way you could go, and and uh, not have a problem is if you have a uh, like your brother does, a private jet. Private jet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't because, think you know that trip. I did not take. I was going to be flying home, Bucharest to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to JFK, and it was like, as I said, it, you remember, I was getting like that kind of thing, like. Eh. You were too nervous to go on the trip because you were afraid about getting back and then also getting the, the COVID test and not passing it. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know how many people I know now who have been dosed with COVID. And Mandy's the only one here. Mandy's one. You guys, you know, people who've gotten minor COVID, not, you know. Mandy had a nice trip this week, though. That was, I, I would she imagine. Drove. She was able to drive. Yeah, she drove. Yeah. Four hours. I wanted five. to take vacation, and now I'm like, I'm not going to even try to buy an airline ticket. I'll probably get stuck somewhere. Well, Marjorie keeps my, saying to me. My bosses are overseas right now. I'm scared they're not coming to get to come back. Marjorie can't keeps saying, so many flights. Right. Mar Marjorie keeps saying to me, and we have, we have flight miles, you know, frequent flyer miles uh, that both of us could mm -hmm. go to Europe and back on those miles, although I don't know how badly they work these days. But we do that. We could do that. But, you know. I have in, no desire to travel, especially huh? through an airplane. Yeah. Yeah. You just, you know, how pleasurable is it going to be? You know. And, and, you, your, know you know, get to trip, the airport trip. six hours early. Maybe yeah. your flight will That's take nice. off or maybe not. You know, come on. I don't yeah. I, I, well, admit, I don't need this. In my wait life. a minute. We're getting a cute picture from Brian. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah this is the kid that how did how did you did she she did her hair that way right she's not getting old <laughs> <laughs> boy she got a she got a great mane of hair there too yes yeah. yes well listen yeah. They put they put after they dye it the, that color they bleach it then they can put different color shampoo in it yeah and then they'll stay that color for a few days so she had blue in it a couple days ago so baby blue baby blue <laughs> <laughs> you know something that climbing all over you is a lot is getting less fun every year isn't it she's just getting heavier oh, and heavier it's so fun <laughs> let me tell you <laughs> yeah. When yeah. Stephanie was when when Stephanie was five, and then when she was getting older, I told her, you know, I can't, I'm not going to be able to lift you anymore because you're getting bigger and I'm getting older. So say that's why I tell Adrian now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, listen, I want to wish you all a happy Fourth of July. This has been a nice little gathering. This yeah. felt it's like a, a it was a very nice picnic. This is like a family getting together on the Fourth of July. It's a lot of fun. And yeah. and we're not having hot dogs tonight, right, Marjorie? Yeah. No. What are we having? We're having a traditional Fourth of July dinner. Tell them what we're having. You tell them. Ribs. <laughs> Man manicotti. <laughs> so uh, that traditional Fourth of July manicotti. You know, what can I say? You know. From Fresh Direct. From Fresh Direct. <laughs> right. Yeah. 
Anyway, I want to thank you all for joining me today. I didn't know whether we'd have any people here or not, but okay, I, I decided to do it because it's the one thing I do that doesn't give me a problem. And then I did something to give me a problem today. So we got a late start, but uh, it's certainly a good start. And I thank all of you for joining me, Charlie, as always, you've always been a regular here and Mandy hardly misses a week, you know, and if she misses a week, she writes me an apologetic note, <laughs> you know, uh, Jeff, good to see your whole family. I mean, that yeah, was fun. Uh, Marjorie, great to see your whole family. You want to show the baby? <laughs> you know, well, the baby's asleep right now. We don't want to wait. <laughs> Uh, uh, Charlene, nice to see you. It's always, or you're always there, and it's nice just that you join the crowd. Well, and I thank you for welcoming me, it means a lot. Yeah, well, we, we, we're happy to have you here. And and, and look at the, he, you've suddenly grown hair, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the joy of parenthood! Get in them. And ultimately, the only friend I have in the entire world, although Jeff is coming close because he lives close by, but somebody that has been my friend for how many years now? 78. So what is that? 40, 42, 44 years? 44 years we've been friends. So, uh, you know, and he's a good friend, too. Uh, a, a happy, a happy Fourth of July to you. And who else Fourth left everyone. us? Uh, yeah, our our friend in Canada left us, and uh, and 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 uh, Brian left. Brian, no, no, Brian. Oh, Andrew left. Andrew, Andrew. Andrew. Andrew left. Anyway, but don't forget. Don't, don't forget. forget. Don't forget Edward. Don't forget. But, and finally, Edward. <laughs> See, I always skip Edward because I know he's here for the ending, and then I forget to ask him for it. Here's Edward to sign us off by saying, That's all, folks. Yay. Everybody, <laughs> see you later. Bye-bye. Have a happy fourth. Happy fourth. <laughs>